both Home Depot and Lowe's putting up some monster profit numbers. And in Home Depot's case, not only beating the street, but beating the most robust estimates on the street. Anyway, Samantha so Debianchi says that that is the clearest sign yet that folks are more interested in fixing the homes they're already in than buying anything new at all. Well, there is something to that. Normally, that, that's the logic that you get with these guys doing so well that people have given up buying for a new homes, so they're sprucing up the one they have. Well, exactly that, Neil. Let me start by saying existing home sale price or existing home sales have actually cooled off just a little bit, about 3% from September. And remember, these are October numbers. And I'm, I'm going somewhere, so stay with me. So our prices have actually increased nationwide by 13% from October 2012 to October 2013. So with that all said and done, we have all of this positive information. So sellers are looking at the paper and thinking, wow, you know, home prices are going up. Phenomenal. Maybe I should sell. But then when they keep reading, they see no inventory. So they look around and they're thinking, well, if I'm going to sell my home, where am I going to live? And that's the problem that I see and so many realtors see and so many other just sellers. And they're looking around figuring out I can get X amount for my money or X amount for my home, but there's no place for me to go to. And being in a buyer's market today is like being a part of the Hunger Games. It's like <laughs> you're going out trying to like kill people to find the home. And then you have everyone from cash buyers to other investors. Cash buyers are making up 31%. Yeah, but that, 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 that really shows the housing market. Certainly, it might not be off to the races, but as I said many times, it's certainly off the mat. You're not quite buying that. <sighs> Well, listen, it's a great, it's, we're in a little bit of a weird scenario right now because it's a great time to be a seller, but it's also a great time to be a buyer. Rates are in the 4% range. I mean, right. I got my home in March for 3.5. Ridiculous. And the predictions are for next year that the highest we're going to go is about 5.3, and that's the end of next year. So going back to your original statements about Home Depot and Lowe's. So let's think of, a, let's think of me as a buyer. Why would I want to sell when I don't really have any options later on? I mean, you know, when I have my clients, what I'm telling them is find the home first and then selling it. If we price it to sell, we'll have people just battling it out. I yeah. mean, it's unbelievable out there. Well, where are you? You're in Florida. It's, it's back to unbelievable, right? Uh, it's it's Ugh. insane. It okay. literally is. All so right. many investors, so many cash buyers. You know, it's it's difficult. It's very difficult for people to find a home these days. Amazing. And so what people are doing is they're sitting in their home and they're renovating. And they're they're going to the home. There's nothing that makes good sense to me. Samantha, yeah. thank you. Very welcome. Thanks for having me.